A surprisingly large part of dirt riding is a mind game. Your skills and experience provide the foundation for your riding, but how positively or negatively you think plays a huge part in how well you will ride. We often surprise ourselves by finally getting the courage to tackle a new obstacle and getting through quite easily. And then we start to wonder, were we ready for this six months ago? Of course, there are also guys with too much confidence and will destroy themselves and their bikes on a regular basis. So, unless you have a death wish, safety comes first. Get all the good protective gear, set your limits, work out how many risks you are willing to take, and learn how to laugh when the other guys call you a soft cock for avoiding the tough obstacles. Or even better, just let all the air out of their tyres when they aren't looking. So, having said that, a positive approach to a challenging section or obstacle is a good thing. Ever thought to yourself, I'll never make this? Your body reacts accordingly. You will tense up and not allow your bike to move freely. Your technique will be stiff and forced and chances are you will comprehensively bugger it up. <laughs> Same spot. Huh? Mind you, other times you will surprise yourself and sail through it, and the confidence gained will show each time you tackle it after that. With practice, most of our riding technique comes from an instinctive subconscious level, and a negative approach interferes with this. So, what can you do to develop confidence and a positive approach to your riding? This stuff is from the Australian Institute of Sports and the sort of thing coaches are ramming into the heads of our Olympic athletes. Avoid the negative self-talk. Stop saying to yourself, I'll never make this. Well, unless it's a vertical cliff, of course. Deliberately choose to think confidently. I have the skills, I can do this. Negative thoughts only get in the way of letting your body do what you've trained it to do. Act with confidence. Look at riders who exude a quiet confidence and act in a similar way. Of course, it will be an act, but there is evidence from sports psychology that acting with confidence quickly leads to true confidence. Focus on your strengths. He's down. This doesn't mean acting like an arrogant dick who is full of himself. Look at all the top extreme enduro riders as an example. No boasting from them, just very likeable guys with a quiet confidence in their abilities. Visualise successful technique. Most top athletes use visualisation as a powerful psychological technique for learning new skills. It all sounds like new age mumbo jumbo, but strangely, it actually works. Watch videos of the top riders doing the stuff you want to learn. The important bit, close your eyes and picture yourself doing the same techniques in your head. This visualisation starts connecting synapses in your brain that will actually prepare you for the real thing. Spotting. Finally, there's nothing wrong with a safety net. If you are concerned about falling in a steep path or some nasty terrain, get the other riders to spot for you. <laughs> This isn't negative thinking. It simply removes a concern that could get in the way of riding positively. Likewise, plan where to put a foot down if needed and make the most of that dab. Again, this isn't negative thinking. It's simply having a backup plan that allows you to fully focus on the job. Most importantly of all, 
find some decent dirt riding videos from riders who actually know what they are talking about. Don't resort to second-rate rubbish just because it's free and on YouTube from middle-aged Gumbies who couldn't ride their way out of a paper bag. Have the confidence to rise above that sort of crap. Just give Chris Birch thousands of dollars to personally coach you on your riding, confidence, personal hygiene and sexual technique in the bedroom.